while doing the presentations many of us don't like to show all the options together and we would like to reveal it or show it one after the another so this is the perfect slide for you uh, till now the audience don't know what are you going to show them what is the title one title two and title three and you can keep them as a surprise or uh, something you can keep them on some suspense so uh, this is how the slide works when i click it will show you the main title here and it will reveal the options only here you can see the text there and still the audience don't know what's there in the title 2 and the title 3 or option 2 or option 3 and after discussing the main title or the title 1 you can reveal slowly the the title 2 and then you can reveal the title 3 this is very good slide for you if you want to show the different options or different products or different pricings where you don't want to reveal all the information together and similarly i have created one more slide with simple uh, effects no shadow effects nothing you can just see here it will just reveal the text one then reveal the text two and then reveal the text three so let's see how to create these three options animated infographic slide in powerpoint to add a rectangle go to insert shapes and from rectangles i'm going to select which is this one rectangle top corner surrounded draw draw the rectangle something like this and then you can just rotate it rotate left 90 degrees and then shape outline i'm just going to make it a no outline and i'm going to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape just click there again shape outline make it no outline and shape fills give some different color and put it exactly in the center something like this i'm just going to copy this select all press ctrl d to duplicate for the future use then i'm going to select the rectangle and the oval shape under format merge shapes just say subtract so you end up getting this particular shape now i'm going to add one more rectangle here or i can just reduce this size and exactly put it again here and i'm going to just change the color to some different color and this also i'm just going to put it again exactly in the center and i'm going to select this as well as this merge shapes again subtract so i've got two shapes here one is bigger and one is smaller now i'm going to change the color select the rectangle the bigger one go to format shape fill select any good color and this color i'm going to fill this with white and i'm going to change the transparency right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency to 85 percent so you can see here only a small uh, light effect is there on top then go to insert shapes and select the same rectangle again draw the rectangle and shape outline make it no outline and rotate i'm going to rotate 90 degrees right and give the same width of this you can see here i'm just going to increase the width a little bit and then select this press ctrl d to duplicate and just put it down and i'm going to remove only this one and i'm going to keep only this part for that let me just make it more down go to insert shapes select any rectangle and this much area i need to remove it so i'm going to select this area and this merge shape just say subtract and this i'm going to fill with a gray color 
and this one with some dark color and put it exactly on the top of this one and select both of these options press ctrl g to group it and you can see here i'll just put it something like this and i will say send to back it will be something like this and when the animation happen it will come out like this so now for this i have to add the text and the number here so before adding the text let me just change the background color to some darker color and this one i'm going to change fill this with white and then i'm going to add some text here go to insert text i'll just say type your text here and put it exactly here in the center and i'm just going to put the number here which is one go to sh again insert text box and just say one i can change the font to century gothic increase the size make it bold and put it here exactly in the center and change the font color to white and then you have to select all of these or you can select one by one also like this or just using the mouse you can just select all and press ctrl g to group it and then i'm just going to put it here and format just say send to back and let me just make the text as 0 1 instead of yes so you can see here this is my 0 1 and i'm just going to add the animation so when i move it will show you the text and again it can go back also so let's see how to do the animation now to add the animation select this one which is the inside one and then go to animations enable the animation pane let me just close close the format shape and this animation go to add animations and go down and you can select under motion paths line when i click it is going down instead of going down it should go towards right so i'm just going to select this red arrow and i'm going to move something like this here so it should come out and double click the animation smooth end i will just make this smooth start maybe smaller and bounce end and timings you need medium fast or whatever you can just select and just say okay so if i play here you can see here it comes something like this and if you want to add the text on top you can add it also go to insert text add the title here title here i'll just center align white font i will change the font to century gothic make it bold so you can add your title here so let me just group this this rectangle the light shaded one and the text and press ctrl g to group it now if you see here if i do it slideshow when i click it will come out something like this and again if you want to add more you can just select all press ctrl d to duplicate it this is one more ctrl d one more or you can reduce the size or width also you can add four or five as well and then you can just change the color as per your choice let me just put some maybe orange color and let me just put it here some other maybe a purple color and then i will just change this to two and i will just change this to three and i can change this color also maybe a, a darker orange and more darker purple 
I can go to more fill colors and I can just select any darker purple color also here. You can see here. So if I play, it will show something like this one, two and three. And again, if you want to change the text and it is diff if you're finding difficult to do that one, so you can just go to home, select, go to selection pane and I want to hide this particular part you can see here this is group 22 and I'll just take this one that becomes unhide and then you can change your text here and then again I want bring it back just click it again it will be back there now if I play you can see here the text already got changed likewise you can change the text for these also and if you want you can add some shadow effect if you require to do that that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye